Swag, bitch. So I don't know if this will be a good video for YouTube or not, but we're just going to record it anyway. So this is my Wheel Horse Electric 12, Electro 12. I'm um, not too sure what year it is. I'll put it in the description, hopefully. Um, but I know that these don't come with rototiller attachments, but bought one cheap. I got this off the line for $175, and it hooks right into the system really well. Uh, the back I'm having some issues with because that's like for the frame plow, but it should line up pretty well and work for what I need to do. Uh, what I gotta do is I gotta take the grinder and grind those uh, little points off um, right there. On the side, there's little points right there. I have to grind those down a little bit to fit into the slots. Oh, sorry. New, key, new phone. Crazier zoom. Underneath there, there's hooks. And these hooks. I can't really get it, but yeah, there it is. That hook. Basically, I have to fit that rod into that hook, but it's a little too wide. So I'm modifying it a little bit to fit in there so that I can have a rotiller on this thing, and hopefully, it works out well. If not, well, then I will have to get another tractor. Just not this one. And this is also 301 Predator swapped. Hydrostatic, by the way. But I will talk to you guys after I get it put on, hopefully. Okay, there, guys. So I got it hooked up onto the actual tractor itself. Believers fit on there nice. Um, as you can see, it's a... Let me get up here very slight of zoom. You can kind of see it where it's... It's pretty well on there. This side was a pain in the ass one though. I think I think this thing is twisted from what I can tell. I mean, it looks like it goes like that. But yet again, the shield is broken. But the whole rope tilt is broken too. Like you can see, it's been pretty good. So I don't know if it's twisted. Or just the shield's twisted, but it's all kinds of jiggity jank. But right now, I gotta get a piece of rope, run it around there, all the way around there, and put it around there, and then basically measure it, and then go get the belt. Um, for the lifting system, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. I might either get a little piece of metal and put it in here, and have it raise off of this. Or something like that. Not sure yet, but I gotta figure something out because this is the original way it would pull up and down, and this is the spring for it to um, relieve tension, I guess, or no, relieve uh, relieve so much weight so it wouldn't be as bad going up. But yeah, um, other than that, uh, yeah. This is what we got so far. Um, so far, so good. Not gonna jinx anything because I don't know if it's, it's probably gonna go all terrible when I get there. That's pretty straight. And if you look down through here, it lines up pretty well with the other pulleys. Um, I might have to adjust this down one. Because it has it's it's adjusted up on the high one. I might have to put it down. That way the belt is good. But other than that, well we'll see how it goes.
So as you saw in the last video, it was running and rototilling. Um, just as an example. Um, I know on the older wheel horses, they had like a three inch difference. I mean, like, not three inch, but they had three different pulleys. It was one, two, and three, like one down size. I might have to go down a size, actually. But, um, depending on how it goes, I might, I might not. I gotta see how much, uh, force or pull it has on it. Um, but you saw it was road tilling. It's half inch by 141 inches. Big belt, but, hey, it works. Um, this thing's gonna need to get painted up real nice and clean. Hydraulics are holding it. Uh, the only thing I need to do now is get the safety spring for the back. Which I will figure that out someday soon because I don't know where to anchor it onto there. But other than that, I think she's pretty golden. So not trying to make this video any longer than it has to be. Um, but yeah, here's a little background track. Tractor. Tractor was sitting for basically since 1990-something. It's been sitting in a shed. Didn't know that. Didn't know it even existed. Uh, my uncle had it for gardening, snow plowing, and mowing use, apparently. He had the mower deck. He had the uh, ache for it. He had the um, flipper. It flips the ground over on the other side for a garden. Um, he had the rake, the disc, frame plow, and the mower deck, like I said. So he didn't have a rototiller attached for it. So I said I was going to go get one. So it cost me 150 for a rototiller attachment without the, red, the uh, pulleys in the front. For the PTO, so I bought PTO pulleys on eBay for a hundred and fifty-seven. So all around, I'm almost like three hundred dollars in this process. But yet again, I could charge people to go road to their gardens. It's a quick thing. Um, the only thing I have to figure out now is if I go smaller on my PTO pulley because I had to go get pulleys for tractor supply because it's not the original engine. It's a three hundred one Predator. Um, the only thing I have to do is figure out how to get the tines in the back spinning a little faster. And I think if I reduce my pulley in the front, it should, I think. Not entirely sure of how that works, but, um, yeah. I think if I go smaller, it might, it might, I'm not, I'm not on to the pulley, um, ratios yet, but I think if I do the pulley from the front smaller and back, it should pretty go pretty fast um other than that the information that i couldn't find that took me a while was the belt was supposed to be half inch by 141 inches you can get that only on ebay unless you're down south or in a bigger tractor place probably you can get a bigger belt um the The tractor did not originally come with a rototiller, so I had to um, get it sort of modified to what I needed. Uh, so I ground the pegs off on the actual frame of the rototiller a little bit, and then used a scissor jack to shove it up in there. So that's what I did. Um, yeah, but in all in all, um, I don't have a tensioner spring on the back, which some people say I'm supposed to have a tensioner spring on the actual track to the frame of the tractor so it actually helps it out pulling it up but the hydraulics seem to be holding uh this rototiller for long enough uh wherever i go um but yeah i'm able to take the uh, belt off easy after i shut the engine off and turn the engine back on i can have it running or not running um just for safety i'd rather have it not running but yeah so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any more questions or concerns, please comment below, and I'll try to answer as best as I can. I've never had owned a wheel horse, but um, would like some tips and tricks on what to do, or if anybody has anything out there that I wouldn't know about. Um, it is hydrostatic, and yes, it's pretty much antique, yes, I guess. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys... Maybe you're doing this to your tractor, or maybe you're trying to figure out how the road still works, or maybe uh, you're just interested in wheel horses. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, take care, be safe, 
and enjoy. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.